Okay, before we, we do the, let's start with the um, council members. Uh, we have a member of our group, Dale Good, who's coming up to uh, talk a little bit about the comprehensive plan. Now, Dale did something very unusual a few months ago. He went through, uh, whatever it was, like 150 pages of comprehensive plan and analyzed it. He's not going to do the whole thing tonight, by the way. <laughs> We'll give you about, about five minutes. I'll <laughs> yield my time. But he's, he's going to talk about the, um, how the city farm relates to the comprehensive plan and how it supports most of the comprehensive plans, except in a few areas where they contradict things. And, and well, just come up and talk. Okay. And then after that, each of our council members will have. Just a few minutes to get up in the opening statement. You can come up here, and then we'll do the questions and answers. Uh, Doc Robin, <laughs> Van Tine. Yeah. Back to that in the corner. If you, if you need uh, any cards to write the question down, you can do that. You can raise your hand, and uh, Darlene will pass those out to you. Thank you. And who are you? <laughs> oh! <laughs> If you haven't been to city council or watched it on TV in the last year and a half, you may not know who I am. <laughs> I'm Adrian Whitcomb. Um, uh, I, 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 I had this. I'm president. You know, I had the idea to move to the and somehow they elected me president, and I'm still there. They haven't thrown me out yet. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for coming out. Um, what I, like Adrian said, what I want to do is just talk a bit about, a little bit about the comprehensive plan and how it relates to Riverview Farm Park. Um, in the, compre the comprehensive plan, and I'll read right from the plan itself, it says the comprehensive plan presents the big picture and establishes a guide for decision makers based on our, this is important part here, based on our citizens' core values. Uh, it's what you think. Um, the One City, One Future Comprehensive Plan, which is what the, the current uh, plan is called, uh, the draft at any rate, will serve as the general guide for development in Newport News for the next 20 years. So that's pretty important. Next 20 years, and that's why it kind of bothered us when we saw that the, um, the original draft had uh, the city farm portion of Riverview Farm Park. It's one parcel. It, it, it's not two separate entities. Why the city farm uh, part, though, was uh, uh, designated as understudy. And also in the original uh, draft of the comprehensive plan, it, they, they, there was the full admission that there were interest in doing residential development in the park. And those two things we didn't want to go through. And um, so we were fortunate, we were lucky, well, I mean, we worked for it. Uh, we, the Planning Commission voted unanimously um, to go ahead and change the designation, and it is now in the draft designated, the, the, the whole park is designated, the land use is park, and it is um, zoned as park. And so that, does that protect the park? You know, from any further encroachment by by uh, developers or no, it doesn't. But it does set an important precedence because that's the guide for development, and it says it's a park. So, um, but anybody can come in, just like if someone wants to open up a restaurant in a residential area, they can go through the process of uh, going through the planning commission and ultimately the city council, and possibly get something changed. So that's why we need to, to, to really stay alert and not let this drop. And um, what I would like to see, what, what I would be really good is if, if we can get city council to go ahead and, and approve this current um, the version of the comprehensive plan, what would be really good is if the, the um, uh, park task force, which was disbanded, I'm not sure how long ago it was, uh, and it was from a former mayor, I believe. Mm -hmm. But the, they disbanded the park task force that was actually implementing. The year that Joe Frank left office, the park was 
the park pasture, which was just panned. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I, I was there. Okay, because the, 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 the master plan for the park was only one-third completed, and then the task force was disbanded. Um, from what I understand, funds are, are just about nil for uh, putting the other amenities that were originally planned into the park. So what would be nice is if the, the um, task force was reestablished, and that them working with the Parks and Recreation Department and with citizen input that uh, we got the ball rolling again. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, there's a lot of competition for money. Everybody who goes in front of city council wants something, and it usually costs money. So we can't, if we do get this comprehensive plan approved, and we can get, um, we're pushed to get um, uh, the task force uh, reestablished, it's going to take work to find funds. Now, on the bright side, um, I, I, I've got a letter from David Yan uh, Delegate David Yancey. Can you hear me? No, oh, okay. from, uh, I, I'm almost through. Uh, I've got a uh, letter from uh, Delegate David Yancey's office saying how he has discussed uh, raising funds uh, to help us out to put amenities in the park. Um, basically, the, the, the last line in the letter was basically they're waiting for a decision from city council. But he is... is telling me that uh, they'll support us. I also know on the um, preservation aspect, he did tell me the last time we were at the one of the Warwick Denby Business Association meetings, he said that the First Lady of Virginia, Pam Northam, is very interested in the preservation areas there. So there may be more funding coming from there. And then I think it's gonna take, I, I think Dr. Woodbury, you have mentioned before that for different causes that we need to go out and try and find some funds, whether it's uh, trying to get corporate donations, uh, uh, individual citizens, uh, it won't stop. And if we do, if we don't continue our effort, um, say the city, uh, the comprehensive plan gets approved, if we stop there, uh, then we're, we really haven't gained anything, I don't think, or, or we're taking a big chance on losing what we've gained. Um, Say that again. Say that last statement again. If if we don't keep up the momentum to to develop that uh, uh, the, to develop our park into a park we want, um, then we may lose everything that we work for. Because one thing I, I've got had some notes here. They, they did take out the understudy. They took out the residential um, development out of the uh, the comprehensive plan. But uh, still, there are some statements in there that can actually, uh, how do I word this? Uh, Contradict. Hmm? Contradict. Well, uh, uh, it, it, it um, Such as? Weasel words. <laughs> What's it? Okay, yeah, there we go. The adopted Riverview Farm Master Plan calls for development of a public park on the city farm property. However, given the time frame since the original plan was developed, adopted in 1991, it may be worth revisiting and updating the plan for this area. So, I mean, there's some things in here that, that could still, it, that aren't saying, hey, it's a, we're gonna make it a park. Mm -hmm. And that's the difference between the process. If you've been to city council meetings or, or listened, um, uh, nobody present here, but some people on council have actually said they want a process. And, but the, the difference is their process includes residential development it, or, or anything, not just park. And our, what we want to see is the original uh, process revisited, the one that Mayor Frank uh, uh, pretty much undid. So at um, any rate, that's, that's, uh, that's why it's important next week that uh, if, if everybody, if, if we, I'd love to jam pack, I hope y'all don't mind. Uh, the, council, the, the, the jam packed the council chambers with people. Who's and, planning and, on being there next week? All right. We're taking names. <laughs> when when uh, I was reviewing some of the old city council uh, videos uh, earlier in the week, and in December, I think it was 10th or tw yeah, 10th of 2016, uh, there were over 25 people that came to speak. Uh, when this this whole uh, issue first came up, 
And uh, so that was a pretty good number. There was only one person that spoke for developing the park, and he worked for uh, the company that gave the unsolicited proposal. And, uh, and he's lucky he got out of there in one piece. <laughs> he got he got booed quite a bit. But anyway, um, if we you know if we could double triple that number, if 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 it was standing room only, it would be great. And um, I've had several people um, on the planning commission tell me that numbers matter and diversity matters. Uh, at, at the Planning Commission, we had, we had uh, uh, it's not just us old guys <laughs> that are part of Citizens for Riverview Farm Park. We had young, old, all, all ethnicities, and that uh, we had college kids, you know, from CNU showed up and helped, and they said it made a big difference in, in uh, their consideration of the comprehensive plan. So um, I think I pretty much, I probably talked enough here Thank you. Thank you, Dale.